how's it going everybody so today i would like to show you a best of or you might say worst of of hostile wildlife interactions which i or some dive buddies had now i want to stress that i did not provoke or we did not provoke any of these encounters so here crazily this trigger fish attacked me and why did it attack me because it was too close to its nest did it know that i was too close to its nest no the nest is just a depression in the sand however i did find out pretty quickly that i was not welcome in this part of the ocean so this is not a small fish this is probably a 50 centimeter long fish with very powerful beaks and this fish can send you to the hospital to get some stitches i don't think anybody has ever died from a titan trigger fish attack but they are definitely aggressive enough and powerful enough to draw blood now it would have been pretty unpleasant at least had i not swam away so fast okay so this video went really viral uh the next video here is an attack by ooh, a anemone fish and uh, that uh, fish is sometimes called Nemo and you know it's like marketed as being very cute however they're very aggressive fish and it's punching my mate Matt in the head now the you know Matt probably was acting a little bit in response to the impact but you know the, these fish are aggressive again we were probably a good three or four meters away from the anemone when they have these anemones isolated in the sand with no additional cover with no additional reef around like here in this case they are super aggressive so you know we didn't go poke them we didn't go like finger the anemone we were essentially swimming in the vicinity and then they came at us uh you know this is really not the cute little nemo from the cartoon movies uh this is the wound <laughs> which i suffered as you can probably guess i survived yeah this is a yellow-lipped secret and we saw this one in sikihua in the philippines as well like all this footage here from is from the philippines now this secret was probably a little bit bothered or disoriented by our dive light so this we filmed at night and then it came for my friend Kai and it didn't just come for him it came for a really crucial and vital body part and just in the last second he could avert the attack with a gentle poke of his dive light now I realized that the video is called man against fish obviously this is not a fish but it's a spectacular attack or you know near attack nevertheless so gladly all the you know soft parts of kai made it through that adventure these are typically not very aggressive snakes but they're highly venomous so they are relatives of the cobras and a bite would definitely mean serious serious trouble um high degrees of pain they're not that uncommon in the visayas region of the philippines where both sikiho and Darwin are okay where there's a ying there's a yang you know where there's fish against man there is fish with woman now this is a shark sucker and this shark sucker is a fish which normally sticks to turtles or razor sharks here it decided to make friends with my friend Laura and it stuck to her leg and it didn't want to let go and then these fish are so eager to attach themselves to larger creatures larger beings that if there was no ray or shark or turtle available it would do with a diver uh, they usually profit from the swimming of their hosts so they don't need to pump fresh oxygen rich water over their gills when somebody else swims for them interesting interesting interaction i hope you enjoyed all of these videos 
Okay, I have a couple of very exciting announcements, so you should listen to this. First of all, my new book, it's called The Lives of Gobies, uh, has been out now for a few weeks. If you like my underwater videos, you'll probably like my underwater photography, and uh, there's a lot of that in this book, and a lot of, I think, really interesting information about these fascinating small fishes. So, you can order it at the Asia Geographic webpage, uh, the link is below. Now. We are also, and we being my friend and colleague James Reimer, and me, we are planning a new book, and it's called uh, Oceans of the Future. Now, this is about the trajectory our planet's oceans are taking with the current unfortunate level of human intervention in the health of these ocean ecosystems. So, with all these environmental problems, how will oceans look in 500 years? How will they look in 10,000 years? I think it's a fascinating topic which we want to address for a lay, for you know, interested lay audience. And if you are a publisher uh, who wants to take on our book, please contact us. And yes, finally, uh, like and subscribe if you really want to help out the channel and see more underwater videos. I also put my PayPal there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I'm actually heading out to just another dive in the Philippines. So, see you soon!